So today I'm going to make a start screen with a play button. And this is going to be my start screen. And this is what the player will look at until they hit the play button. So I'm going to use a part to set my camera focus to this, to this scene. So my part, I'm going to call this camera focus part. And now I don't want the orientation to be crooked or anything. So I'm going to change the orientation to zero, zero, zero. See how that shifted like that. If you use a base plate or flat terrain, you won't have that problem. I'm going to move this part out to right where I was at, right about there. There we go. Now, um, because I want to use the C frame for this part for my current, for my camera, I need to find the front. So the front is actually looking that direction and that's not what I want. I'm going to rotate that. Now I'll change my orientation, but I'm not going to change it uh, this way. I'm just going to change the look direction. That's good. Maybe scale it, move it over this way. That'll be good because I don't want to, I don't want to block my hut with my button. I may move it down a little bit. And let's see. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. So I'm going to freeze that. I'm going to look for my anchored. I'm going to click it. I'm going to turn can collide off so nobody accidentally bumps it during gameplay. It's going to be like it's not even there. And I need to make it invisible so nobody can see it. So transparency, I'll make one. All right, now I go to my starter GUI, add a screen GUI, and add a text button. So that's my start button. You go ahead and put it in the middle. So when I go to put stuff in the middle, ooh, let me let me name it first. Let me call it play button. All right, when I put stuff in the middle. I put the anchor point on the button in the middle. That makes it easier. I'm going to make the size uh, 400 by 100. And let me position it in the center now. So 0.5, the first number is relative to the parent, which is the screen GUI. So I made 0 0.5, 0 0.5, that puts it right in the center. All right, text, I'm going to call this start. I guess I should call that start button. It's all right. This will work. Ooh, let me make it bold. There we go. Bold. And I'll make it like green. Background color. Green. That's good. All right. Now let's add a script. You have to add a local script. I'm going to say this. I'm going to call this start screen and we need our camera so camera is in the workspace we're going to get the current camera i need a reference to my button script parent and the script's not quite on the parent right it's one level down so i just have to look for it a little bit and now this camera we have to change it to a um we have to change the camera type to scriptable. So we look in the enums and they have camera types. We have to make it scriptable so we can add the C frame. We can change the C frame. Now, unfortunately, the way the Roblox starts up, this might not uh, get assigned. Camera type might not, my camera might not get my uh, assigned camera type when I want it. So just to be safe, I'm going to do this repeat until. And I'm going to put this in here. And then I'm going to continue to repeat until I'm sure this assignment took place. So this is comparison. This is assignment. So we go in here, we go, oh, let's assign the camera the scriptable, the scriptable enum so that it's a scriptable camera. And let's just check to make sure that assignment took place. And we're going to keep doing that. Uh, it's only going to, it's only going to be like once or twice. Let's even prove that. Let's put a print statement. Copy. 
and I'll print that. If it goes through twice, I'll be surprised, but it, it does every now and then. You do sometimes miss it. So now that we know our camera type is scriptable, we can change our C frame. And what was that? It was in the workspace. It was the camera focus part. And we're going to use that C frame. So C frames are orientation and position. So we're basically putting our camera right where that part is, looking in the same direction as the part. So I get my mouse button clicked. I'm going to connect. I'm going to use an, uh, an anonymous function. I usually don't use those. I usually like named functions, but we only have two lines of code here. So now I'm just going to change my camera type back to custom. So camera type, custom. And then I'm going to get rid of the button. So destroy. And this should work. Let's go ahead and play it. So we start. Ah, we're looking at our nice serene scene here. Doesn't matter what buttons I push. The character will, the character will be um, in the game somewhere though, while you're waiting. So you might want to have this, have the character in a lobby. I'll go ahead and play in a lobby. So you didn't get killed or something until you hit this button. But you could do that. You could do all of that down in here if you wanted to. Anyway, uh, good luck. And that's how you make a start screen.